So this question has been actually taken out from one of the past test one papers. Uh, but this question is very good because uh, it's able to test you on various understanding. So this is one of my favorite uh, example. So let us see the question. Convert the instructions to the machine code and fill in the content of working register, file registers and status register. So the marks is 12 marks is given. So I said note all the instructions are dependent of each other. What it means that the condition of the subsequent instruction is dependent on the condition before. And if you see this part, this is what we call as a memory map. So do you know how to read this? Now, whenever you see hex 300, hex 400, this address, which memory do you think this belongs to? Data memory. So this is in data memory, okay, data memory address. And you see that you have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, So what it means is that this one is the content of hex 300. This is the content of 301, 302, until it reaches 30F. Actually, after 30F, the next address will be 310. But of course, that is skipped here. And next is showing 400. So this is the content of 400. 401 and until 400, 40F. Is it okay? Anything unclear on that? Yes or no? If you have any question, just ask the same well as that. So here you can see this table, there's a coding is given, machine code. When you see square bracket like this, what it means? What does the square bracket mean? The content of then file register and the status register. Now, it seems that there's an initial condition given. So there's one code, move LB, hex 4. The machine code is already given. And the content of working register is 7F. All the other content of file registers is, is 0. And status register has this initial value. Is that okay? Anything that you don't understand? So let us try to do one by one. So the first task is you're given the code, add the content of working register to file register. And the file register address is hack02. And this is banked. So which means what is the actual address for this? So for each one of these, as usual, we'll try to draw. So for the first one, we want to perform addition, right? So we are going to add the content of working register with the content of what is the actual address? What is the address? 402. How do you know? Because you saw this bank, right? And how do you know which bank is active? Here. The initial condition. Bank 4 has already been active. So now you need to perform. Okay, the first step is you need to find out what is the machine code. So what do you do? You write down the instruction ADDWF hex 02F and banked. So next, you go to your instruction set to write down what is the machine code for ADDWF, which is 001001DAFFF. Are you all following? So what is the instruction? 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 
D A F F F F F F F F. So now we need to fill in the blank slide. Zero 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 one D. The F is D, so is F mean what is the value of D? One. A is actually under the bank scheme, so it's bank. So we should write also. Or what is the eight bit file? Is the address zero two? So you write zero 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 one zero. You don't leave the answer in binary. So what's the first digit? Two seven zero two. Right. So what is the answer that you should write here? X two. Seven zero two. So you get one mark for that. Now to fill in the content, any question up to this point? Do you have a question? Say something, lah. <coughs> you all have to go through a lot of communication classes, lah. <laughs> Okay, so in order for us to determine what is the content of working register and what is the content of 402 and also what is the content of status register, we need to perform the addition, right? So what is the content of uh, working register? Is hex 7F. Wait, let me just write this bigger a bit. The content is hex 7f. What about the content of 402? That's why you have the memory map, remember? What is the content of 402? Hex 1f. So now you need to do the addition. So f plus f. How much is f? 15 plus 15, 30 it says exceeded the base number, right? So you need to minus by 16. Remainder, what is 14? E. So you write E, and then you have a digit carry, right? So 1 plus 7 is 8, 8 plus 1, 9. You get an E. Where is this thought? How do you know? Because you see the F is here, right? So, the content of 402 will be this 9e. Is that okay? So now let us try to fill in. What is the content of working register after you execute ADDWF? 7f, still the same, right? What is the content of 402? 9e. If you have the proper flow idea on how we do like this, then it's easy for you to solve this. Any question up to this point? How I got 7F, 9E and things like that. Now next, is there a question? There's no question. Next, we need to fill in the working register. Now how do we know which instruction affects the status register is we can look at the instruction set. If you look at the instruction set, this is ADDWF, right? There is mnemonic, operands column, there's description column, there is cycles column, there is 16 bit instruction word column. You see the second last, which is status affected. Under ADDWF, what are the status uh, affected? C, D, C, Z, O, V, and N. Which means this instruction affects all. There are some instructions that doesn't do, doesn't affect anything. Uh, for example, let's see. Let's say for example, uh, one example, a clear F. It only affects Z. Does that make sense? You're clearing a file register. Do you need to, will it affect C, D, C, O flow? No. It only will affect the Z bit only, right? So likewise, there are some instructions whereby it doesn't 
perfect at all, none. So we will see in a while. But for this instruction, all of the status is uh, affected. So we need to find out what is the new status value. Is that okay? So this is addition. So based on the answer that you have got a 9e, you have to ask yourself this question. Is it negative? Hmm. So you all have not been revising. <laughs> yes, for not revising or ni confident tahap gabar ni. Okay, I've been recording that as well. <laughs> so is it negative? Yes, 9e. Remember we saw the range 0, 0 to 7f is positive and 8, 0 until ff is negative. But in case you have doubt, just convert it to binary. You'll see the most significant bit is 1. So this is negative. So what should be the value? 1. Do we have overflow? Now this we have to find out. 7f is positive or negative? 7f is positive. 1f? Positive. Positive plus positive is supposed to get? Are you getting positive? So you're getting negative, right? So, so overflow. It's the wrong sign, right? So therefore, there is overflow. So what should be the value of overflow? One. Is it zero? Come on, guys. Nine e is definitely not zero. <laughs> so what should be the value of that? Zero. Do we have digit carry? Yes, we have, right? There. Eh? So, do we have carry? No, we don't. So this is how we determine the status. Any question up to this point? Shall we go to the next instruction? So the next one is move WR fax 50 and we need to first convert it into machine code. Move again register to file register hex 50 and A. So the first thing that you do is you find out what is the machine code of WF 0110111111 A F F F F F F if you want, you can write on top here also F A so that you can know how to refer. Are you all able to see? So now let us fill in the values. So 00110111A. What's the value of A? If it's you, we put access bank. 0 and what is the 8 bit value? This is 5. So it should be. 0, 0, 0, 0, and we like leave it in hex. So what's the first digit? 6, 7, 5, 0, right? Correct? So we write here, hex 6, 7, 5, 0. Now, what is this instruction doing? This is moving from where to where? This is moving from working register to x50, right? This is the task that it is doing. So what is the content of working register? Yes, 7F. And if you move it here, what will be the content of 50? 7F as well, right? Yes. Which one? This one. Oh, sorry, it's not 7. It's E. Thank you. 5e50, 6e50. Good, sharp I.
So do you see how am I doing this? We are actually I'm drawing, I'm writing what is the content, then I'm moving to another thing. So when you do this kind of thing, it's very easy for you to answer. So what is the content of working register after you execute move wf? Still 7f. Even though you move your copy and pasting, right? So it's still 7f. What is the content of hex 50? 7f is what we did just now, right? So hex 7f. See, so fast you did so many things already. Oh wait, I'm doing all this, right? <laughs> but I'm trying to show you how to actually think in the flow. If you have any question, just stop and ask. So now for this instruction, we need to see whether does it affect the status register or not. So how do we do that? We go back to the instruction set. We look at move WF. Does it affect any status? Is it mentioned here? None. So if it's none, then what should we write? Yes, the previous status maintained. So we just write down the same thing because it's not changing anything. So the status register will remain the same. So one one zero one zero. Any question up to this point? Can you go to the next one? If you do not have question, if you have, just ask. Simple. The next one is move ff. So this move ff is this is move ff. What is the address? Three zero b four zero e. So what is the machine code for this? Can you all refer and let me know? One one zero zero. So these are all the F F F F. Then the bottom one. One one and then you have. So this one, you know, it is actually the file source. This is the destination. And this is your file source, this is the file destination. So can we fill in now? 1100. This is the source, so we have to write 30B, right? So what is 3? 110 is 0000. B is 1. Zero one one. Bottom is one 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 four. Zero one zero zero. That is zero 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 eight. So we convert this to hex. So it is C three zero B F four zero eight. Right. So we write here C three zero B F four zero eight. So you get two marks for that. Any questions so far? So after that, then we have to Draw we are moving the content of three zero B to four zero eight. What is in inside for three zero B? What is at three zero B? What is at three zero B? A seven. So we write here A seven. And what are we doing? We are moving it here, right? 
so this will be the new value for 408 is that okay hey, what am i writing for seven a7 a7 is that okay so what is the content of working register after you execute this instruction move five five a7 still 7f because it's not affected at all you're not even using working register at all in this instruction so it is 7f what is the content of 408 a7 does move 55 affect the status register none right so you write back the same any question at this point if no question can we go to the next one the next instruction is move literal value to working register hex 9 so you need to find what is the machine code so we write down move literal value hex 9 is it yes so what's the machine code for move lw 0 i got so many answers 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 
So this is F. This is uh, like this is F. This is K. Now, if you notice that the F is has only two bits, right? Because you only have three FSR, right? So we just need to select. And currently, we are selecting which FSR? FSR one. So what should be the value of FF? Zero one. So let us fill in one 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 zero one 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 zero 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 one. Now, do you see this KKK value? So this one is the first digit. Hello, I use different color. Get me. This is the second digit. This is the third digit. So this is the first, second, and third. Is that okay? So what is the K value for the first digit? Zero zero one one. Then the bottom one 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 zero 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 zero. And the second digit is zero. The third digit also zero. So we keep it in hex. This will be hex e e one three. This is f zero zero zero. So here you can see few things. Here it will show you which FSR is chosen, and then this part will show you where is it pointing. Where do you configure it to point? Is that okay? So this is FSR. And this one, you can see the digit. Is that okay? So we're gonna write here E zero one three F zero zero zero. Does this affect status uh, working register? So what will be content working register? So does LFSR affects or anything? Oh, sorry. E E one three. Thank you. E E one three. Just like how I'm making mistakes. Sometimes now, of course, in class we all come. We can think properly. We follow the flow. During exam time, uh, everything gabra. <laughs> so, instead of using pen, using paper. Hey, okay, why am I erasing everything? <laughs> so sometimes, always check. Naturally, uh, we try to follow this thing. So of course, I'm making a mistake because I can't refer down there. So you just check, and then make sure the answer is correct because all these are. Uh, we can say as uh, free marks, la. because it's, you just need to follow only. There's nothing much for you to deeply think about. And does this uh, affect? Does LFSR affect status register? So one one zero one zero. Now the last one. Subtract working register from file register plus W one W A. Now, if you notice that there is no machine code for this because it's using indirect addressing mode, so you, you won't be able to find out. But you need to find out what is the content of working register and what is the status register. So, we are doing this instruction actually. Subtract working register from file register.
so this is F and this is W, right? Subtract working register from file register. Now the thing here is we need to find out what is the address here. So it is using this plus W1, right? So you know that it's using FSR1. So what is the formula? The new address pointed is equals to what? The content of FSR 1 plus the content of working register. Why did we use FSR 1 here? Because this is 1. So that's why we are using FSR 1. What is the content of FSR 1? What is the content of FSR 1? What is the content of FSR1? 300, we just did before this, right? Okay. This one. It's 300. So we write here. Fx 300. Plus, what is the content of working register? Fx. 309. So what is the new address? 309. So this is equivalent to what? X309. Are you all able to follow? So what is the content at 309 and what's the content working register? Working register you already know is 09. What is at 309? So we need to find out here. What's the 3 of 9? 44. X 44. So now let's do the subtraction. So take away 9 from 4, so you can't do that. So you need to borrow. So here you'll have Remainder 3, how much are you borrowing? 16. So 16 plus 4 is 20. 20 minus 9, 11. What is 11? B. Then 3, take away 0 from 3, you get 3. So the answer is 3B. Where do you store it? In working register. So what will be the new content of working register? X, 3, B. Is that okay? So what will be the content of working register after you execute this? X, 3, B. Okay, this one no need. Does this affect the status register? Does sub WF affect status register? Yes, it affects all right. So based on the answer, which is 3, B. So you need to do answer. Ask yourself the question, is it negative? No. Do you have overflow? Okay, we need to check. 4-4, four, four, is it positive? 0, 9? So positive, minus positive? It actually depends on which number is larger, right? According to the hint, if you are subtracting same sign, can get overflow or no? I don't remember I'm asking you. Sorry. So out of these two numbers, which one is the larger number? 44. Remember when it's positive, you can straight away look at the magnitude of the number to see which one is larger. So 44 and you are also getting positive. So there is no overflow. Is the answer zero? Do you have digit borrow? No or yes? So what should I write here? Very good. Do you have borrow? So what you should write? Yes, remember it's opposite for subtraction. So this is how you answer for this question.